Today on The Joy of Editing, I'll be looking at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.3.11. This video will focus on Recover Faces and the improvements to that module. I'll also show you a comparison with the old version to this new update, version 1.3.11. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me again today. Well, another new update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.3.11. Right now on the screen you're seeing the old version 1.3.9. And I'm showing you that because I want you to see the difference here in the Recover Faces module. On the screen now we can see the changes to this new update here. You may want to pause the video and read through these, but I mainly want to focus on this fact this week we have changed face recover slightly so that it no longer also tries to enhance necks and clothing around the face this should help in instances where collars or other clothing gets smoothed out for me this is a big improvement and i want to show you last week's update compared to this week's update where you can really see the difference here Okay, on the screen right now, you're seeing last week's update in. I'm in the Recover Faces module, as you can see. Now, I have my strength the whole way up to 100%, which I normally wouldn't do. But what I want you to notice is right in this area, right here and here, and also on the neck. Compare it to the unaltered image on the left, and you can definitely see that those areas are smoothed out. And that's caused by the Recover Faces module. Now, as I said, I am up to 100% on strength, which I normally wouldn't do, but I really want you to see how it's affecting the clothing and the neck. The setting you're seeing here for strength is a setting that I would use 23 on this image, but as you can see, you can still see that the clothing and the neck are softer than they should be. They're not bad when I pull back on the strength, but this new update gets it right. Let me show you. All right, now here we are with a new update for Photo AI version 1.3.11. I'm zoomed into 200%. I have my side-by-side -side view on here. So you can see on the left is the original. And then the image on the right has the autopilot settings applied to it. But the only thing I changed was under Recover Faces, the strength slider, I took it up to 100% because I really want you to notice something here. So take a look at the clothing here. They're totally in focus. They're the same as they are on the left, except with maybe a little more sharpness because I have some sharpening on here. So Photo AI has sharpened this image. So they're a little sharper, but they're not softer, which is really good, as well as the neck. The neck looks good. It's not over sharpened or anything. And as we can see, now the face is well overdone. It's really way too soft. And I normally keep my strength when I bring my images into Photo AI for Recover Faces at 60. If I double click this circle, you'll see it goes to 60. Now that's where I like to start at, and that's even too strong. But then I would just pull this back to somewhere, maybe right about here looks pretty good, maybe 34, 35, and that looks good. But the beautiful thing is Recover Faces is staying away from the clothing and the neck which is a great update in my opinion. If you haven't downloaded this update yet, go ahead and download it and give it a try and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you don't yet own Photo AI or you just want to try a free trial and see how it works for you, you can click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. It'll take you over to the Topaz website where you could get a free trial or purchase it. Whenever you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission if you purchase Topaz Photo AI or any Topaz products. And that helps me to keep these videos coming your way every week. Well, there you go, everyone. This is the new version for Topaz Photo AI with an updated Recover Faces module. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.